With Dawn Trail around the corner, I thought it might be pertinent to remind everyone of the simple fact of the title. Unfortunately, this is a difficult concept for some people, for many potential reasons. Some people are stuck in the mindset of different games, some people are just rude. Regardless of the reasons, you should play the jobs you wish to play and have fun with it. The main reason that led to this video is some of the reactions I've been seeing to the coming Dawn Trail stuff. Most specifically, Pictomancer. There's a subset of people who say Pictomancer does not fit this game, or Final Fantasy. That they would be going so far as to ban it from their parties, it is so unfitting. Good, it makes it far easier to avoid those people. Party find equality is going to go way up as a result of not having to deal with those players. Seriously though, if they're going to spout insane ideas like Pictomancer is unfitting, then they probably think AoE is an okay rotation in single target extreme fights. People don't need to like Pictomancer, like the style of it or anything, but what they need to do is agree that it fits the series. That would be an objectively proven liar. In a game that has the Golden Saucer, the Hildebrand Quests, Lollafell Missiles, Halloween Town Moogles, and so much more, Pictomancer fits right in. It also makes me feel like people weren't paying attention to one of the core messages of Endwalker, how there needs to be a levity between the doom and gloom. Give Graha a burger before you end up watching everything fall apart. Everything being serious all the time is just not how things work. Name almost any Final Fantasy and you'll have plenty of points of levity no matter how dark the story gets. Which is how Final Fantasy XIV by itself doesn't matter in terms of Pictomancer fitting. The proof Pictomancer fits is Pictomancer itself. How much do you know about Pictomancer's origins? Because guess what? This is where Pictomancer is from. Spoilers for Final Fantasy VI ahead. Pictomancer originates from here with the character Realm Aroni. She is 10 years old, so yes, a child. Her special ability is to use Sketch to paint monsters and use their abilities against them. The attack animation is even similar to the job in 14. She waves her brush over her head and paints a copy of her target. So the job is as faithful as it can be without being a limited job or something. But I'm sure Final Fantasy VI is a baby game, right? The story is all laughs and nothing serious. I'm sure the main villain, who is a literal clown by the way, doesn't destroy the entire world or anything, right? Oh yeah, that's literally what happens. Kefka is one of the most successful villains in all of canon. His motives may be questionable. Some argue he doesn't have any reason beyond nihilism. Oh look, another theme tackled by Endwalker. But he actually succeeds at intentionally destroying the world. He continues to rule over it and destroy it more. Final Fantasy has been combining fantastical and childish elements into serious stories since before some of these people were even born. Six is even considered one of the best if not the best game in the series by many, up there with 7 and 10. Regardless of anyone else's individual opinion, when it comes to best FF game, you heard one of those three titles from most people. I can go even further after all. Ultros? This abomination? This is a recurring character in Final Fantasy VI too. The Golden Saucer? A required location in Final Fantasy VII. The minigames are optional, but no playthrough skips visiting it, let alone what the remake did to the Don Corneo section of the game. Whether you like it or not, this childish looking job is as Final Fantasy as any other job. You don't have to like it or how it looks. Taking some weird boycott against Pictomancer players because it doesn't fit is just a lie. 
On a similar note is the people complaining about Seraphism on Scholar. I don't like how it's an angel look either. It fits Seraph, but I figured it'd be more fairy than angel. Change the wings to fairy wings, and it's an exact fit. Some people are acting like a robe is the death of the job when... I mean, have you seen the artifact gear? You look like a giant dork. A robe isn't exactly a leap. The other part of this equation is people disliking job changes or jobs in general. Whether changes are good or bad, you're not allowed to like them. Let's take Black Mage as the main example. There's some very good criticism about the changes and why they're bad. There's also some not so good criticism out there. And because we're monkey people who had their fur fall off one day, we tend to remember the bad more than the good. So instead of remembering the actual criticism, I remember the people telling me I'm not allowed to have an opinion because I'm not top 1% parser who doesn't know what the word fun means. But we've been seeing it for years even. People insulting for job preferences. They insult the player rather than the job they dislike. I'm forever hating Scholar, but I'm not about to be homophobic over a robe like the one common I got. Yes, actually, I was shocked too. It proved the point, unfortunately. People can get extremely weird about jobs, be it Dragoon and calling you an idiot for playing it, to the point it's now a bad community meme, to summon it and calling you an idiot for playing it. People are going to try to discourage you with insults rather than opinions on the job. That's just someone to report and blacklist. Your job choice is fine, especially if you're having fun. Aim to play the job to the best of your ability and everything will be fine. The devs aim to balance things and anything but the top 1% of players aren't going to notice a difference. Anyone making judgy comments about your choice is either being way too meta-brained or is a giant weirdo about it. Whether you like the job or not, everyone should be allowed to play what they want to play. Lying about how it fits into a series when the job is older than you is not going to do anything but make you look like a fool. Dislike things if you want, don't insult people over it. I don't know, people like that ruin it for everyone. People who just want to have fun, and the people who have well-meaning and properly formulated criticism. I've been critical of the idea of making Dragoon less busy for a long time. I was ready to continue to do so until I played it and could confirm it still felt like Dragoon. I am still critical of them removing the gaze mechanic for no reason. Criticism is good, but you need to actually put effort into it if it's going to be actionable, not just spout insults. Be blunt, for sure. But the moment you start using your critiques as a way to insult people, the moment it stops being a critique, then it's just an excuse to be elitist. I'm seeing far too much of that. I want the game to improve too, and have some very strong opinions of my own. I made an entire video complaining about how I feel the Mandeville Relic was a terrible decision. I stand by this opinion and my conclusions, but I don't recall ever calling people idiots in the video. I said lots to disagree on, but not outright insults. So if you like being able to disagree with someone and not be called an idiot so long as you don't purposefully misconstrue what was said, be sure to subscribe. Going into Dawn Trail, my main videos are all going to be videos on job guides, with maybe a break here or there. But support on those is greatly appreciated, as is on any video. Comment on them, rate them, share them around, all that stuff. Check out the links in the description too. I stream and will be streaming all of Dawn Trail's story. Can also join the community discord, or follow me on social sites. Things are about to get very busy, and I hope you will all join me for the ride. Take care and may the power of Anne and Nidhogs lay waste to your enemies.